Everyone makes mistakes, even in a galaxy far, far away. Not even Jedi Masters, Sith Lords, or George Lucas are free from the occasional blunder. Star Wars ushered in a new era of digital special effects and filmmaking, but the filmmakers behind it all are all still human. If you look beyond the lightsabers, it's apparent in the mistakes and missteps you can find in each of the movies in the saga. And that's not even counting Jar Jar Binks, nature's biggest mistake. He's embarrassing. Uh, Kira who? There's a reason people forget Kira Knightley was in The Phantom Menace. The British actress plays Sabe, a quiet handmaiden who serves as the costume decoy of Natalie Portman's Queen Amidala through most of the movie. Being a fake-out queen isn't much of a role, but the fact that Kira Knightley's first name is misspelled in the end credits probably doesn't help either. Those handmaidens don't have very good luck. Padme, clean this droid up as best you can. Head of the class, although the Jedi younglings that Yoda trains in Attack of the Clones are capable of some astounding things, one appears to be just a little more capable than the rest. The little guy with the reptilian face who starts the shot out near the middle of the group is suddenly behind everyone after an angle change, and then at the head of the class after a quick cut. It's probably just a continuity error, but it could also be a pretty solid Jedi trick. We'll never find out, thanks Anakin, the disappearing jacket. Who knows what weird stuff you might find inside a Jedi's home? When Luke Skywalker swings by Obi-Wan Kenobi's hut to try out his dad's lightsaber in A New Hope, there's initially a jacket hanging from the archway. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. But after a cut, it's nowhere to be seen. Did you miss it? Must have gone to the dark side. Or maybe just the laundry. The Vanishing Stormtrooper in A New Hope, Obi-Wan Kenobi uses the Force to convince Stormtroopers that C-3PO and R2-D2 aren't the droids they're looking for. These aren't the droids you're looking for. But apparently, he could have just made him disappear. After a quick cut, the Stormtrooper who is right behind them suddenly vanishes. Jedi trick or impromptu lunch break? Vader's quick change. During Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi's epic lightsaber battle, at the end of A New Hope, Vader gets pretty mixed up, and not just because Obi-Wan evaporates into his own robe. No! The buttons on Vader's chest plate first appear on the right, then they switch to his left. If only switching between the light and the dark sides was so easy. Model misbehavior. The battle sequences on Hoth in The Empire Strikes Back were larger than life, especially because of the Empire's enormous Imperial walkers. But looking back, some of the practical special effects seem a little crude. After Luke blows up the guts of one of the massive war machines with a grenade, it comes tumbling down. Now watch the back leg. You can't miss the pole used to tip over the miniature model, which comes out of the ground and quickly retracts. Not so slick. Millennium Flyby George Lucas took special effects light years into the future, but his team at Industrial Light Magic were learning on the job. To depict asteroids, they used everything from old shoes to potatoes. In a view from the helm of the Millennium Falcon during The Empire Strikes Back, you can briefly see the Millennium Falcon fly past itself. It's blurry, but that's Han's ship doing a barrel roll from an unused scene. That's some impressive flying. Crazy Carbonite. Being frozen alive in a block of Carbonite can't be a ton of fun, but Han Solo seems to have found a way to let loose. His arms are clearly bound behind his back when he's lowered into the freezing chamber in The Empire Strikes Back. But when he's set free in Return of the Jedi, Solo's arms are somehow unshackled. What really happened there? Lando flips. Lando Calrissian borrows a perplexing move from Darth Vader during his appearance in Return of the Jedi, as he playfully calls his pal Han Solo a pirate. Calrissian is suddenly shown wearing all his clothes the opposite way. Rey makes her point. In The Force Awakens, it's pretty clear that Rey is far from an ordinary young woman, but at one point, she does something pretty extraordinary on board the Millennium Falcon. As she and Finn are repairing the ship, she points at something with her right hand in a close up. The wide shot shows her pointing with the left. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw, and leave us a comment to let us know which Star Wars mistakes you've caught.